is here. Hi, Louise. Hi, Clive. It's on the change again, the weather. Last week it was all about the cold and the frost, wasn't it? This week it's going to be cloudy but incredibly mild. Now, so far today we've had this east-west divide, the best of the sunshine out to the east after a bit of a frosty start. Further west, though, look at this. It's all about the cloud, the wind and the rain that's now starting to gather into the far northwest of Scotland. Now, this is the beginning of the change in some respects. It's this low pressure that's moving up to Greenland and actually this frontal system is dragging up some very warm moist air from the southwest and so that means that temperatures once again will be back above the average for the time of year with perhaps the exception the far north of Scotland. So so far today best of the breaks in the cloud have been out to the east but you can see where that rain's gathering it's now pushing its way across Scotland some of it quite heavy and accompanied by gale force gusts of winds at times. So some wet and windy weather here, outbreaks of lighter rain into northwest England, north Wales and maybe Northern Ireland and for the rest of England and Wales we might just cling on to some brief glimpses of sunshine across East Anglia and Kent but look at the temperatures 11 to 15 degrees actually the mildest of the weather out to the west as that weather front starts to push in. So the mild air continues to flood across the UK through the night, a lot of cloud around, it's going to turn misty and murky close to coasts and hills and the rain well that's going to slip its way out of the borders but look at these temperatures 9 to 14 degrees so it's an incredibly mild start to Tuesday morning unfortunately an incredibly cloudy one as well. The weather front's still there, not moving very far, very fast. It's going to push its way gradually into the north of England and north Wales. Here we will see a band of cloud and light patchy rain. Into the southeast we might once again see some brief glimpses of sunshine and then it's breezy and showery to the far north and west. Those strong winds driving in plenty of frequent sharp showers here. But those temperatures are likely to peak between 10 and 16 degrees. Now at this time of year Year, we should be seeing just a maximum between 8 and 11. So incredibly mild afternoon for all of us. And looking ahead, we have a brief drier spell as we move from Wednesday, but yet more wet and windy weather set to arrive Thursday into Friday, just where that low is going to be sitting, still subject to some uncertainty. But it's certainly worth bearing in mind that yes, there's going to be some rain around. It stays on the mild side until the weekend. There's a chance of seeing more in the way of sunshine, but then we could return to some nighttime frost as well. Clive.